Hello, my name is Dale Dufay. I'm going to narrate this video for Mary Hall. She made yet another discovery in Antarctica where the melting ice is revealing incredible things. Uh, now, I want you to pay attention to the bottom of the screen here. Uh, first of all, this is courtesy of Google Earth, which is an excellent tool, but this is some of the resources they use uh, for their to get these graphics. And I noticed that in Antarctica, especially this company here, Maxar Technologies, does a lot of this, uh, especially the three-dimensional, but two-dimensional as well, uh, images of, you know, and there's clearly, you know, real obvious right angles, squares, intersections, all, and this is t t very artificial. And in this area, I'll run the video where she kind of went through and s looking at all these areas. And this area where the ice is completely melted really shows a lot just as well, or even more so actually. But this is it's amazing what the melting ice is revealing just by melting. You could see, you know, all around there's all kinds of patterns. Now, this isn't pixelation because when you zoom in, you get a lot of pixelation, but these are, you know, look down at the right corner here. You could clearly see height definition, and that this is a this is in three D right now. Right here, this is an option button uh, to put it. If you want two D, you hit that button. So don't let that don't think that that's a reference because it's not. Right now, it's in three D, uh, but let's go ahead and run uh, the video as she kind of goes through this whole area. This is my mouse here. Uh, I'll try, I'll try to, I mean, it, it's so busy, it's crazy. You can, uh, uh, you can spot area, you know, places all over. I mean, look at all this straight lines, 90 degrees, definition of height, right there is 2D. I mean, you can see it even then. It's, it's remarkable. Now that's not natural, that's not natural features. Uh, and. You see, look at this everywhere. There, uh, there's some even checkerboard patterns. Look at the checkerboard over here. Uh, it's amazing. It's all over. Now, you know, the ice, when it's melting over a natural surface, will not do this. Uh, I just, and here it looks like a wall, artificial wall. Look how straight that is. That's just not natural. None of this is. I mean, like I said, you look anywhere on the screen as it's going along here. And there's not any, it's, it's spot all kinds of anomalies. And by anomalies, I mean something that looks artificial as opposed to natural rock formations. Uh, and if you ask me, this entire area looks artificial, yet another area in Antarctica. And they're making all kinds of discoveries down there. Now, there, it's quite apparent that there was not only an ancient civilization on the entire earth. Here's a coordinate, 76 degrees, seven foot and 59 inches south, 162 degrees, I, don't, I think that's east. Yeah, 162 degrees east, 27 feet, three inches. So it's pretty close to the pole. But not only was the whole planet at, at one time and way, way back in antiquity, what I call uh, the, our, the ancients to our ancients, ancients to the ancients. Uh, there was obviously civilizations on earth that were before the flood or, you know, before the last ice age. Uh, and not just on the earth, but obviously here in Antarctica. Look at, here's that checkerboard again. This see the coordinates in these areas you can look for yourself. And you'll see if, if you zoom in close, it's real difficult to get any definition. And it only goes, zooms in so, so far. Uh, and then to, it's like totally blurry. Uh, but these are hard to find. I mean, they're not that easy. I've, that's why I, I ask Mary, how does she keep finding them? I mean, look at this. Look, this, this area looks like a, you know, could be some sort of uh, temple complex or who knows what. I mean, it takes up a large area. Uh, and this area this is obviously exposed completely, and you can see totally definite structure. It is not a rock formation there. That is uh, what's left of 
ruins of an ancient civilization. And it certainly looks that way to me. Uh, but uh, what's interesting about this Maxar technologies is they only seem to be, you, Google seems to only be using them in Antarctica. And I, I've read an article about them recently. I'll try and leave a link below about it. Uh, but the government uses them extensively for all sorts of uh, purposes. And they seem to have the technology to be able to reveal what the melting ice is revealing in Antarctica. But I noticed in other areas on Google Earth, they use another one, uh, Copernican, something, Copernican technologies uh, in the other areas. But they only use this Maxar technologies down here. It's interesting. So you can't help but wonder uh, if the government is interested in what's you know being shown down here if you look over here this part of the screen up top it's totally blurred out uh, so who who knows what's underneath that blurred out area if they're doing it intentionally or they could it could be uh, incomplete data as well we'll give them the benefit of the doubt but it's amazing they're even showing this if you ask me i mean look at this even in uh, farther out areas around the whole surrounding area looks like a, what's remnants of a ancient ruins and streets and uh, grid layout of a entire city right down near in Antarctica. I mean, obviously, it was not covered in ice and it was in the temperate zone and there was massive high-tech civilization down there, uh, wherever. I mean, it's just real interesting. This shouldn't be surprising to us because, like I said, they're finding all kinds of things down there. The remarkable things it's like uh you know that's why it's it's very difficult to get any sort of uh, permit to go down there unless you're doing research but here's that rock area again are, are totally ice free and you can to see uh, very obvious right angles and definition of height and structure that's uh, quite amazing and then she found it this is that area here again but she found this uh, area down here as well to uh, be interesting. See, look at the whole entire area. And I, I see checkerboards everywhere. There's one there. Uh, there's some, I mean, look, at there's one up there everywhere. It's just amazing. Again, I, it's not pixelation because the pixelation appears when you zoom in. It's just, you know, what is being revealed. It can't, now, those were natural. See, look at that whole area blurred out there. Well, he knows what's under there. It may be way more obvious as what, than what this is revealing. And they have to show some. They can't blur out the whole continent. Uh, but if you look close, you can find these areas. Yeah, I can't help but wonder what's under the, all this. You could even see it's uh, quite bright. Uh, but still, again, that's benefit of the doubt. We'll just say that's incomplete data. But look at all this. It's everywhere. So yet another great find that Mary made in Antarctica. And, you know, let Mary know what you think, you know, or, or take a take, jot down these coordinates and uh, look, look uh, yourself. Or maybe we'll leave a link down for a postcard in this area, a Google postcard, they call it, Google Earth postcard. So well, thank you for watching.